Thank you very much. That is the time. Um, just so our witnesses know, we have two more uh, questioners, one from the official opposition, and then the government uh, members will round it out for us today. Uh, Mr. Nader, you have the floor for five minutes, please. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair, and again, thank you uh, to our witnesses. Uh, Mr. Moore, could you confirm for us how many employees of CBSA are currently actively uh, engaged in outside employment or contracting? I cannot confirm that number, um, but I can ask uh, the CBSA to come back to you with a number uh, because that would be the Human Resources Branch. So you're telling me you came to this committee meeting unprepared to answer that question, given the fact that this has been a topic of discussion for some weeks? My understanding is that there has been a question raised and they, they will be giving a response. Um, and um, they are now doing a check of everybody to make sure that they have the full disclosure before they come up with a definitive number. Are you personally aware of any employees within CBSA who have outside employment or outside contracts? So I personally was involved in a conflicts of interest um, discussion last year for one of my employees. Um, who was proposing to take on a, an unpaid role and actually we perceived that to be a conflict of interest and it went through the standard process. So the evidence was gathered by our human resources branch. We discussed the um, process with the um, individual concerned and actually the decision was that they decided to withdraw from that because there was at least a perceived conflict of interest. So I am aware of the process which is being operated but it's operated by our human resources branch. On the other side, are you aware of any contracts currently at CBSA which involve employees from other government departments? So we, as a result of the investigations which are ongoing, uh, we have done some searches of GEDs. We have identified some individuals who are in GEDs, which would, if you're in GEDs, it implies you're an employee of another government department. And we have therefore contacted those departments and worked for each of those individuals. I think it was around about six or seven individuals and the Director General responsible for that has confirmed with the other government department that there was no conflict in those cases. However, that work is ongoing. So, so I just want to stop you for a second. You say there was no conflict, but they are in fact government employees who have contracts with CBSA. Is that correct? Can you confirm that there are government employees, public servants at other departments who currently have active contracts with the Canada Border Services Agency. Are you confirming that, yes or no? So I cannot confirm that, but I'm sure we can get back to you with the details of that individual. S of sir, no, sir, I'm going to stop you right there. You said that they were checked in GEDs, they confirmed with the departments and the uh, Director General that they were, in fact, employees of those departments. You said six or seven of them. But now you're unwilling to confirm that? No, I'm, what I'm saying is six or seven were checked, but I do know for a fact that some of those were, were inappropriately on GEDs they had actually resigned and moved elsewhere. So, so of the, okay, and again, of those six or seven, how many of them are Government of Canada employees with contracts at CBSA? So I do not have that details, but I can... Sir, sir you, you, you just said there were six or seven. It's a small number, and you tell me you can't confirm one way or the other? I can't confirm because it wasn't in my, in my area, and, but we can... Come sir, sir you are the Chief Financial Officer of the CBSA. You came here uh, knowing that this would be a topic of discussion. You're unable to tell us this information, uh, yet you seem to have this information of the process that happened. You seem to have the information that you know, these checks were done, but you can't tell us what actually happened? I'm willing to come back to you on the level of details for these individuals. Okay, sir, obviously there's been a process uh, undertaken. This information is obviously at hand. Can you confirm and provide that information to this committee by the close of business today? Um, I'll have to go back to the department to see if I have it. Could you make the endeavour that you'll try to do that by close of business to today? I will go back to the department and talk to the DG who was responsible for this. Uh, your, your non-answers are frankly surprising. But, but let me just interject, Mr. Nader. Um, I, I appreciate the, the, the information will be forthcoming as, as soon as possible. M Mr. Nader, the committee does allow for some time. I appreciate your determination to get to the bottom of this, but um, Mr. Moore, if you're, if you're able to, that's wonderful. Um, uh, but as, as soon as possible, and uh, we will reach out at, at some point. Mr. Thank Nader, back to you check. for a minute. Because there may seconds. also be some privacy impact, which I can't comment on. Well, again, yeah. privacy Nader. is not an issue. As you well know, sir, this parliament and this committee can compel information um, from, from witnesses at any degree, and privacy and any of those uh, issues are not uh, impediments to providing information to this committee. And you as a senior public servant ought to know the powers of committees to call for information and, and, and documents. Um, three information, uh, on a different matter, three information technology contractors uh, were found to have fraudulently billed for 
contract work uh, with several departments uh, between 2018 and 2022. Uh, these payments esti were estimated to be uh, nearly $5 million. Uh, you were asked this question uh, by my colleague, Mr. Brock, in the previous uh, committee. Uh, can you now confirm uh, whether any of those firms uh, did work with the Canada Border Services Agency? So as I said at the previous committee appearance, the Public, Public Services and Procurement Canada informed us that the CVSA was involved and the involvement there estimated up to $15,000. They have not come back and given us the details yet. When do you expect that information to be forthcoming? I'll have to go back to PSPC and ask them. So the exact same answer you basically gave uh, a week and a half ago. Well, I um, think we have had the Easter period in between. Yes, we, we did have two two days there that were uh, Ten seconds, statutory Senator. holidays. Uh, Chair, I, I will just conclude by saying I look forward to that information on double dipping uh, coming to this committee uh, as expeditiously as possible because it is concern for Thank many you, Canadians. Thank you, Mr. Nader. Uh, our last uh, member, uh, Ms. Shanahan, you have the floor for five minutes, please. Well, thank you very much, Chair, and I just want to say again how much I appreciate uh, the uh, witnesses being here today and making themselves uh, available uh, to us. Uh, in my